Hello my dear friends, I have collected 20 important questions for all type of competitive examinations. I have given the basic concept on chemistry so that our learning of chemistry will be very easy for us for all type of examination as well as your class 11, 12 and bachelor levels, or bachelor levels of study. So let us begin uh, with our first part and let us begin with our first question. Our first question is which of the following is correct for the charge of subatomic particles as we know that in atoms there are three different particles they are electrons protons and neutrons as we know that electrons are negatively charged protons are positively charged and neutrons are chargeless so our option choice B is correct for the question number one now let us move to the question number two atomic mass is sum of atom contains electrons protons and neutrons but electrons are so so small because of that it its contribution is neglected while calculating atomic mass so atomic mass is the sum of protons and neutrons and our option choice d contains a new term nucleons nucleons means as a whole protons and neutrons are called nucleons so atomic mass can also be known as mass of nucleons option number question number three atoms are we know that atoms contains positively charged protons and negatively charged electrons and neutrons also but neutrons are chargeless and as we know that atom contains protons and electrons in equal number because of that atoms are always neutral always chargeless so our option choice c is the correct answer for atoms if some particles are positively or negatively charged they are called ions so n ions are n ions are negatively charged ions so our option choice b is the correct answer for question number four then cat ions cat ions are positively charged ions so our option choice a is the correct answer for question number five similar uh, here we have i have written that n ion if we divide n ion in three different part uh, as it is shown here a means a n means negative ions or negative ion is called n ion and cat ion c a t cat contains t we can take t as a positive so positive ion are called cat ions n ion moves towards a moves towards a positive plate that plate is called anode cation moves towards a negative plate that plate is called cathode now let uh, let us uh, uh, go to the question let us move to the question number six electrons was discovered by electrons were discovered by jj thompson jj thompson main credit for the discovery of electron goes to jj thompson question number seven protons main credit for the discovery of proton goes to <coughs> rutherford we have to learn the different theories of rutherford in our higher level so Rutherford, um, he uh, he discovered the proton. Now question number eight: Neutrons uh, was discovered by neutrons was discovered by James Chadwick. James Chadwick discovered the neuton. These are the important questions you need to remember. These all. <coughs> and then question number uh, nine: Who is known as father of modern chemistry? Robert Boyle is known as father of modern chemistry. Now let us revise this option A, B, C, D. J.J. Thomson, J.J. Thomson discovered electron. Ernest Rutherford, he discovered protons. James Chadwick, he discovered neutrons. And Robert Boyle is known as father of modern chemistry. Now let us move to question number 10. As we know that electrons, protons and neutrons are very small. So we cannot measure them in kg and all type of different mass. So we make one consideration, we make one assumption, we make one standard unit, one AMU or it is also written as one U that is equal to 1.67 into 10 to the power minus 27 kg. So we need to remember this one AMU is equal to 1.67 into 10 to the power minus 27 kg. The full form of AMU is atomic mass unit. We measure small, small quantity, small, small uh, particles in term of AMU. Question number 11, atomic mass of H2O is, as we know that H2O contains two hydrogen and one oxygen, mass of hydrogen is one, but here are two hydrogens because of that H2, uh, its mass is two and oxygen, its mass is 16. So if we add two and 16, we'll get 18 amu or we can write 18 into 1.67 into 10 to the power minus 27 kg because 1 amu is equal to 
1.67 into 10 to the power minus 27 kg now question number 12 atomic mass of CaCO3 is in this compound we need to add the atomic mass of calcium that is 40 atomic mass of carbon that is 12 and atomic mass of O3 1 O mass of 1 O is 16 and mass of O3 is 48 if we add 48 plus 12 plus 40 we will get 100 so 100 amu is atomic mass of CaCO3 question number 13 atomic mass of Na2CO3 dot 10 H2O is now let us add mass of Na and uh, multiply it by 2 to get the mass of Na2 that is 23 into 2 and carbon and oxygen and H2O and 10 times H2O to get your answer so find this answer by yourself uh, for any confusion you can uh, comment me and um, uh, for those uh, for the subscribers uh, if you are searching for the all uh, question collection in pdf format i'll send uh, to you uh, you can uh, comment me uh, question number uh, 14 which of the following is not an inert gas uh, we know that we have a different type of inert gas you have to remember all uh, inert gas from our uh, periodic table atomic table uh, uh, neon xenon uh, and kryptons are the inert gas but chromium is not a inert gas not an inert gas so so uh, answer for question number 14 is chromium question number 15 how many times is proton heavier than that of electron uh, it this answer is 1837 times if we collect 1837 electrons and if we measure its mass then its mass is exactly equal to the mass of one proton so mass of one proton is equal to mass of 1837 electrons so our option choice a is the correct answer uh, question number 16 what is the value of specific charge of an electron as we know that specific charge is ratio of charge and or charge to mass now <coughs> excuse me now we should know that the uh, charge of electron and mass of electron the charge of electron is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb i am repeating this charge of electron is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb and mass of electron is 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg if we divide these two quantity we will get our answer 1.76 into 10 to the power 11 coulomb per kg so our option choice b is the correct answer for question number 16 i have written this like this uh, charge of electron and mass of electron if we divide them we will get 1.76 into 10 to the power 11 coulomb per kg in the same way you can find the specific charge of proton as well for proton mass of proton is you know that mass of proton is equal to 1 amu mass of proton is 1.67 into 10 to the power minus 27 kg that is the mass of proton and charge of proton is equal to charge of electron 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb in this way by dividing charge of proton to mass of proton we will get specific charge of proton now let us move to another question according to Mendeleev's the physical and chemical properties of elements are periodic function of we have two law Mendeleev's periodic law and then uh, modern's periodic law uh, for question number 17 and 18 uh, you need to find the answer by yourself and for any confusion you can comment me question number 17 and question number 18 now let us move to the question number 19 um, the chemical property of an uh, atom depends on our option choice are total number of electrons number of valence electrons total number of protons and d also contains total number of proton it should be total number of neutron and among these our answer choice b is the correct answer for this uh, the, the chemical property of an uh, of an element or of an atom depends on number of valence electron now let us come to our last question question number 20 uh, valency of lead is we know that some of the elements have two or three balances they, have, they contains different different balances uh, lead is also one of such element its balance is 2 and 4 both so our option choice d is the correct answer for the question number 20 valency of lead is d both a and c uh, thank you very much uh, my dear friends there is one important saying from the albert einstein life is like 
riding a bicycle to keep your balance you must keep on moving so whatever be the situation we have to move if we move then everything will be balanced so all the best for your upcoming examinations thank you very much for your cooperation i'll bring the another part so soon please like subscribe and comment my video so that i can upload other different videos thank you very much